sometimes when you do barb. There he is. Yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> I'm on, I'm on. How many times did you I miss I missed though? that fish twice. All right, guys. I am back at the grind. I am here meeting my buddy Scotty at Bass Pro Shops. What do you say, Scotty? All right, we're gonna park. We are gonna go inside right now and we are gonna go and buy. Scotty's got a really, really hot bike going on down here in Indiana right now. He's telling me that a lot of cohos, maybe some steelhead, smallies, lake trout going on. So I've got a day off. And we are gonna go out and put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on it, but we're gonna try to do something different. We're gonna show you, we're gonna go inside and check it out. All right, let's go. Let's go. How you doing, sir? Yes. Um, would you, could you tell us where we could find a uh, cane pole? Like cane poles? All right. We are looking for cane poles. We're going back to the basics, guys. We're gonna try something different. Cane poles, old school. The bamboo ones. Yeah, the bamboo. Right there on your left. All right, I like Thank it. Thank you. Here we go. We have cane poles. You think this is gonna work, Scotty? It's gonna work. All right, guys, we are gonna try to catch cohos on cane poles tomorrow. <laughs> That's Scotty's idea. I wanna see that. All right, it'll be on YouTube, right. Wayne. <laughs> hey, that was my dad's name, Wayne. Thank you. So, all right, we're, we're here at uh, Bass Pro right now. We're gonna buy our cane poles and uh, we'll go home and show you how we're gonna get them rigged up for tomorrow. Okay, weird. so we've got two cane poles. They're 14 all, footers. 14 footers, uh, six bucks a piece, really good price. What else do we need? Some crawlers. Crawlers. Yeah. Wayne, do, where, do you know where you can help us oh, find some crawlers? Until now, I thought you were doing Tenkara. Now you're bait fishing. Yes, yeah. we're bait fishing. Um, worms. Night crawlers. Do you have any worms? Straight All down, the way down, I love down. it. Base. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We'll, we'll catch them on artificials too, but we're just going back to the basics. <laughs> They're busting our balls here for yeah, using, for using well, bait. I mean, we're just trying to show you guys how easy it is this time of the year. You wanna come and catch cohos? I think you could pretty much catch them on anything. So we're gonna grab some worms. Whatever you think we're gonna need. Ooh, the big reds look pretty good, Scotty. Oh yeah, that might actually work good. Let's check them out. Oh yeah. I think. Coho candy. Oh Who yeah. Who doesn't like a worm I in the spring? I think those will be perfect. Oh yeah. Let's go. do it. All we're right. all set. Let's go. Let's go. Sounds good, sounds good. All right guys, we are here. Uh, I'm actually fishing in Indiana with my buddy Scotty. This is his deal, his bite. Um, never really been down here before to do this, so I bought the Indiana fishing license, Great Lakes Trout Stamp, and uh, we're gonna try to go put the beat down. It's super windy out today out of the south, so we may have some technical difficulties with the wind, but uh, are you ready to rock? You ready to roll? Man. Let's go. We're gonna launch the Alumacraft here. Get her out on the ice. I got my man Jarrett showing up. We got one more guy coming with us. We're gonna get out here and see if we can put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down. Good luck out there. I'm trying to get it started. Oh, you're trying to get her started? Need a little help? First time I've ever taken it out, so. Let me help you out here. All right, we, we got the guy ready to rock. I got my man Jarrett showing up. up. Scotty, you gotta meet my man Jarrett. What's going on, man? Yeah. Jarrett, nice to meet you. What's up, What's buddy? Going, you ready man? to go beat down on him? Yeah, let's beat down. All right, guys, we're gonna launch a boat and we're gonna get out there. We got rain coming in about three hours, so we're not gonna have a lot of time to fish. But uh, we are gonna go put the beat down on him. All right, guys, we're heading out right now. Got my man Jarrett and Scotty. This is going to be exciting. Uh, Scotty's telling me that the, the coho bite is nuts right now. We're actually going to rig up a couple of cane poles that we bought at Bass Pro yesterday and see if we can catch them. All right, guys, we got a really windy day here. We just pulled up to the spot. Scotty's telling me that this is going to be just 
ridiculous fishing. What are we gonna do, buddy? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish off the back of the boat here in some current, and uh, we're gonna use cane poles, fishing for cohos with night crawlers. So All right. we're hoping Love to hook it. up. It should be lock and load one after another. We got our cane poles right here. We're gonna rig them up right now. And oh, lock I and load. Oh, we got a little red worm crawler. A little hook. A little baby hook. And a cane pole. And a cane pole. That's how easy this is about to be right now. On the cane pole. We're on, we're on, on the cane pole. Fish on. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Look at this crawler hanging out of his mouth. Oh. Fish number one, guys. It's a little one. That's a little guy. We're on, oh, we're on. Oh yeah. They're going after my sack? I know, they're just chasing it. Oh, dude. Oh. No, dude, it's crazy. I got a good one here, guys. Staying down. Staying down. Is it net worthy? Yeah. Big catfish. We got a good one, guys. Let's go! Snap! It's a good fish, Scott. Yeah, got a good one, sure. Yeah, baby! We only had a wee through about 300 coho. Oh, snap! Oh, there he goes! Is it a hat? Did you chase that one or what? I wonder what these guys casting down there. That's a good current. Oh, snap! There he goes. Snap, he's gone. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish, dude. Yeah. It's a big one. Oh my god, I'm in the rod. <laughs> We got rods and every, everywhere, coals, browns, yes sir. If this one on the cane pole, we'd be chasing. Oh my god, yeah, good thing this wasn't on the cane pole. Get up! Yeah, baby! Look at that big old brownie. Heck yeah, guys. Let's go! That was awesome. Yeah, big old brown, baby. Bam, look at the cone just jumped out of the water back there too, bam. All right, I'm gonna lift them up, get a picture, and then we're gonna get them back. Hell yeah. Look at that fish, guys. Look at that beautiful brown, C. Farrellon stocked fish. Great colors. I'm gonna get a quick pick, and then I'm gonna let them go. Ready? All right. There he goes, boys! Yes! 
Job, All right, I love it. Whoo, guys, we just put the serious beat down on them. We probably caught 50 fish at least in, in an hour and a half. Yeah. Not even. And uh, we've kept 12 fish, four per person. Now we're gonna go and fish lake trout. We're not gonna keep any lake trout, but you can't go and fish lake trout if you keep your limit of uh, salmon. So you have to only keep four. Now we're gonna go see if we can catch a couple of big lake trout. We've got some storms coming in here. We got rain and heavy wind. So uh, we got about one hour of fishing. We're gonna go see if we can catch a couple lakers. So stand by. Oh, yeah, maybe. You might have just missed one, Scotty. Oh, I think I missed one again. You're ready, man. He'll come back if you don't barb him. Shit, even sometimes when you do barb him. There he is. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby! Come on, come on. How many times did you I miss missed them? that fish twice. Yeah. This way, I'm going for the double. Missed him two times. I missed him twice, back. man. These are some hungry fish. Yeah, it is. Meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down in the wind, guys. Sorry about the wind. Here. Scotty just missed one. Little guy, but that's all right. This little guy was hungry. Look at the colors of them. Isn't that awesome? Let's take a quick pick. Let him go. Yeah, it is. Sure. Love it, brother. Love it. Alright, let's get the first one. Nice, buddy. There we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. That did not take long. You want to lift them in and. Yep. He is. That was awesome. You wanted to catch a laker? That didn't take oh. long. Nice work, buddy. Um, Scott's gonna get a quick picture. We're gonna let all the lake trout go. We're really not keeping any. We kept 12 coho's, but uh, they're a lot of fun to catch. Good. All right. Those fish can live to be 50, 60 years old, guys. All right, guys, we got a downpour coming. We're gonna have to wrap things up here on the water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Scotty's house, show you how to fillet the cohos, but we're gonna have to get off. We got a thunderstorm coming. It was a meet down, beat down with my man, Jared. Scotty, stand by. We're gonna go home and show you how to clean the coho. All right, guys, so I just got home from fishing with Jared and Scotty. We had a bunch of storms blow in. We only actually got to fish for about three and a half hours today. And uh, we pounded the cohos, had a blast with some browns and some steelhead and lake trout. But I wanted to show you if you've never filleted a coho, just want to give you a really quick class on how to do this. Now my favorite knife for filleting salmon or cohos is I like an electric fillet knife. This one happens to be a Rapala Lithium, um, not a sponsored product of mine, but Cal and I use them all the time in the summer for filleting salmon and they work awesome. Now if, you're, if you've never done this, it's basically two cuts. The first one is right behind the gill plate, you're going to go straight down, then you're going to take the knife and go all the way along the back bone until you come outside the tail. So it's really simple, just straight down, boom, down to the backbone, turn the knife, follow the backbone all the way down, and boom, there's your first cut. Now you want to take out the ribs that are right here. So I'm going to take the knife, just go right on the edge, a little bit, just kind of push those bones out, just push them out a little bit, 
boom, there's your filet. Perfect, looks awesome. Right there, and then you're gonna flip it over and do the same thing. R straight down cut, it's just two cuts. One down, follow the backbone all the way down. There you have it, there's your second cut. You pull out the rib bones right here. And these are some of the tastiest fish on Lake Michigan. You like eating salmon, you like eating cohos. There you go, right there. Couple of fillets, whack them and stack them. Tasty McScrillets. Hey, I just wanna say, if you guys like the videos that we're cranking out, either on my page or Cal's page, make sure you hit that like button. I'm gonna start cranking out some more videos, guys. I have been so busy guiding full time every day the last 60 days. Haven't had any time to shoot any YouTube videos, but I promise you, I'm gonna start cranking out some more videos. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button right up there, and tight lines, guys. I'll see you on the water.